which are one of the toughest opening day fixtures on paper you could have wished for. But there wasn't too much in it in the game, was it? Just two mistakes in the end seemed to undo your side. Yeah, that was a problem. We didn't we didn't make them work for their goals. Um, I thought we were in the ascendancy first half. I thought we were the better side at half time. Um, but we have to take our chances when they come. There wasn't too many in open play. I think Dan Hayfield had one in open play where it got blocked down by the near post. The other ones has come from some set plays. Luke Spokes is one where we've pulled it back. Very well worked set play that's been blocked. Um, appeals, I think, for handball, but I think you're never going to get those. Um, another one, Jordan Dyer, when he's worked it around the back. A header that's been, looks like he's going top corner. It's obviously been cleared off the line or three or four yards from going in. Um, and then we have Alex Fletcher's one, which is a near post header from a corner second half where Wilkes has pulled off a really good save. So at half time, really, the message was can we, can we get a tempo to the game? Can we make it a little bit quicker? Um, can we move the ball? And I just thought second half, we played into their hands a little bit. The game was very slow. It was very flat out there. The atmosphere was flat. Um, and um, it felt as if the game became very bitty. And you rightly say it's two mistakes. You know, without that mistake for the first goal, it probably does end up as a nil-nil game because um, we look solid as well. And then obviously we go and concede another one, this uphill task. So that's a disappointing thing that we've conceded goals which, which Dartford have not had to work for. Um, and we haven't been able to capitalise when we've had that, that good first half. We're the better side. Yeah, does that first half give, give you encouragement going forward? Because a team like Dartford wasn't much in it really between the two teams. No, 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 no. I, th I, th I think I think we were we were just as good as them. I think they defended their one v ones later better than us. All right, we're chasing the game, I know, but and if you look at the goals in isolation, defending your 18 yard box, a straight kick from their goalkeeper, which he's not meant to do it, but it's caught us out and it's gone straight through to get an assist from the goalkeeper, is really poor. Um, and also, it's a, I think it's unfortunate. I think Zach scored a known goal at the near post, from what I can see. So, um, yeah, difficult moment for him in two goals. But um, yeah, he'll learn from it, obviously. But it's just disappointing because I do feel as if it was a, it was a nil-nil game, really. Of course, when they're two 0 up and there's a little bit of a swagger, then any team would be like that. They'll start moving the ball around, um, and we we sort of went out with a little bit of a whimper in the end because we couldn't, we couldn't and didn't look like we were going to score second half. You threw in a lot of debutants today. How do you think they all gelled? together no listen we were fine listen we I said this isn't going to make and break us this isn't going to win us the league and it's not going to lose us the league um, what we've seen through pre-season is a lot of commitment a lot of effort a lot of quality my only disappointment in the second half was that we didn't show that quality on the ball the pitch was extremely hard um, it's very very dry it was lively it was bouncing up everywhere we, we never really got anyone who put a foot on the ball we had two moments second half where I think it was two phases that we created two chances with we needed to do that more regularly in the second half and we weren't able to do it so um, things to work on is normal of course Dartford are going to be a very strong side in this league second favourites um, but we know we're good enough to, to be competitive in this league and as I said we've set our target in house all it means is we've got off to a, not a great start here today by conceding two goals and not be able to score but like you say, there wasn't too much in the game. Another defeated playoff side next week in Eastbourne Borough. Got after a flyer today at Oxford City, 3 0 up at the break, one by three goals to one. A tough away opener for you. Yep, and you get, every game is tough in this league, every single game. So, long way to go um, on a 3G pitch. Good football inside if they're similar to what they were last year. Have to be at our best to go and get something from that one again. Um, but we do, we need to cut out those mistakes. That's all it was. It was two mistakes in the game. I mean, I, you haven't asked me the question about it, but I'll bring it up. The penalty is, is a shocker. It's a shocker first half. How it's not given, I will never know. Um, even Alan's come in, in the office afterwards and said, and it, it, let's, let's get this right. If we'd scored first in the first half, I think we'd gone on and won the game. But that's a real bad one. It's not a hard decision for the referee to make. When someone gets absolutely pushed and barged from the side and goes over, it's a blatant penalty and that puts us one new up in the game and that's when we're on top as well so really really poor from the official that one um, if you're going to get some decisions don't go for the finicky ones get the big ones right and um, I'm aggrieved by it I've, I've, I want to mention it because I'm aggrieved by it because I think we've gone and win the game not sour grapes facts and anyone who sees it will see that was a penalty and um, yeah, hopefully they'll go away and have a look at the referee as well and the officials and um, come up with the same equation because the linesman agreed with me. He's got the same view as me. He's agreed with me that he's seen it as a penalty. I think there's an assessor and someone assessing the assessor. There's enough people here to go and sort it out. Um, and I expect, I expect I'll get, probably get an apology, but it doesn't mean anything. Um, 
so that's my little rant on that one over but like the bigger picture like I said there wasn't too much in the game two, two sides that will do well this season I think I wish Alan all the best and um, we'll look forward now to a week of, of training and um, planning for Eastbourne away yeah, best of luck for next Saturday